Welcome to 150 Days of the Psalms. This is Simone Swaby with Trinity of Love Ministries through the Holy Spirit. God bless you, beloved. Psalm 73, King James. Truly God is good to Israel, even to such as are of a clean heart. But as for me, my feet were almost gone, my steps had well nigh slipped. For I was envious at the foolish, when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. For there are no bands in their death, but their strength is firm. They are not in trouble as other men, neither are they plagued like other men. Therefore pride compasses them about as a chain, violence covereth them as a garment. Their eyes stand out with fatness, they have more than heart could wish. They are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression, they speak loftfully. They set their mouth against the heavens, and their tongue walketh through the earth. Therefore his people return hither, and waters of a full cup are wrung out to them. And they say, How doth God know? And is their knowledge in the Most High? Behold, these are the ungodly who prosper in the world. They increase in riches. Verily, I have cleaned my heart in vain and washed my hands in innocency. For all the day long I have been plagued and chastened every morning. If I say I will speak thus, behold, I should offend against the generation of thy children. When I thought to know this, it was too painful for me, until I went into the sanctuary of God, then understood I their end. Surely thou didst set them in slippery places, thou casted them down into destruction. How are they brought into desolation as in a moment? They are utterly consumed with terrors. As a dream when one waketh, so, O Lord, when thou awakest, thou shalt despise their image. That thus my heart has grieved, and I was pricked in my reins. So foolish was I and ignorant, I was as a beast before thee. Nevertheless, I am continually with thee. Thou hast holden me by my right hand. Thou hast guided me with thy counsel. Thou shalt guide me with thy counsel, and afterward receive me to glory. Whom am I in heaven but thee? Who have I in heaven but thee? And there is none upon earth that I desire beside thee. My flesh and my heart faileth, but God is the strength of my heart, and my portion forever. For lo, they that are far from thee shall perish. Thou hast destroyed all them that go a-whoring from thee. But it is good for me to draw near to God. I have put my trust in the Lord God, that I may declare all thy works. Hallelujah. Psalm 73, the message. No doubt about it. God is good. Good to good people. Good to the good-hearted. But I nearly missed it, missed seeing his goodness. I was looking the other way, looking to the peop, up to the people at the top, envying the wicked who have made it, who have nothing to worry about, not a care in the whole wide world. Pretentious with arrogance, they wear the latest fashions in violence, pampered and overfed, decked out in silk bows of si silliness. They jeer using words to kill, they bully their way with words. They're full of hot air, loud mouths disturbing the peace. People actually listen to them, can you believe it? Like thirsty puppies, they lap up their words. What's going on here? Is God out to lunch? Nobody's tending the store, the wicked get by with everything, they have it made, piling up riches, I've been stupid to play by the rules, what has it gotten me, a long run of bad luck, that's what, a slap in the face every time I walk out the door. If I had given in and talked like this, I would have betrayed your dear children, still when I tried to figure it out, all I got was a splitting headache until I entered the sanctuary of God.
Then I saw the whole picture, the slippery road you've put them on, with a final crash in a ditch of delusions, in the blink of an eye disaster, a blind curve in the dark and nightmare. We wake up and rub our eyes, nothing, and there's nothing to them, and there never was. When I was beleaguered and bitter, totally consumed by envy, I was totally ignorant, a dumb ox in your very presence. I'm still in your presence, but you've taken my hand. You wisely and tenderly led me, and then you blessed me. You're all I want in heaven. You're all I want on earth. When my skin sags and my bones get brittle, God is rock firm and faithful. Look, those who left you are falling apart. Deserters, they'll never be heard from again. But I'm in the very presence of God. Oh, how refreshing it is. I've made Lord God my home. God, I'm telling the world what you do. Hallelujah. Here ends the reading of the Lord's word, beloved. Hallelujah. And as the psalm states, beloved, right, as you've gone through your journey, or maybe not you or someone you know, right, not in the completeness of this word, but that maybe you have bitterness in your heart, or you looked up to people that you didn't know at one point they had, they were doing wicked things, they were doing evil things. Hallelujah. And the living God had to show you this and to show you what was in your heart. Why did you look up to those people and not to the living God? Hallelujah. Or let him lead you to the people that you should listen to and learn from. Hallelujah. For some people, again, are, are wolves in sheep's clothing. But the living God is saying that they will never prosper in the end. Hallelujah. For he sees all things. He has not gone out to lunch, beloved. Hallelujah. He, everything has its due season for judgment and justice. Hallelujah. And this is an hour where he is continuing to pour that out. Hallelujah. The judgment and justice for the righteous and on the wicked. Hallelujah. For those blessings and for those curses. Hallelujah. Everyone shall have their portion, beloved. Hallelujah. And the living God saying, you knew, you came to listen to him. You came to the altar. You came to his presence, beloved. And you decided to ditch the illusions. You decided to ditch the fake fairy tales. But look to the true and living God and what he really does promise in his word. That he will truly prosper his children. But it comes from the inside out, beloved. First and foremost. Hallelujah. And that all things come from him. And as you spent time with him, you came up higher. He allowed you to see the bigger picture. Or he's continuing to. Or he will. If you're continuing on this journey with him, beloved. Hallelujah. So you just saying continue in that process. And do not be bewildered. Do not get weary in well-doing. But be wise in understanding that it's only by his revelation. Hallelujah. That there is nothing greater on in heaven or on earth than the living God to stand in his presence and to draw close to him and to put your trust in him for his works are mighty and great hallelujah and his grace his counsel his mercy is never ending beloved and in this hour he is continuing to refresh you and to give you grace and a new start as you come up higher in your obedience you come up higher in understanding his foundation as the bedrock of your heart hallelujah and that you will go and you will share that testimony with whoever the holy spirit leads you and as the lord guides you hallelujah and as he continues to free you from the bondage and oppression of the enemy hallelujah that you will be blessed, that you are blessed, and you are highly favored, hallelujah, because you have the spirit of the living God, beloved, hallelujah, so stay faithful, stay in his word and in his presence, do not look to the left or to the right, but stay on the narrow path, beloved, hallelujah, for those who seemingly are getting away with things have a very short end, beloved, and that it's not your place to continue to look at that, but to stay in the presence of the living God and look at what you're doing, what the Lord's doing in your life, in your heart, beloved, and let him 
do his work beloved hallelujah to continue to pray and worship spend time with him because it is the very potent hour we're in now hallelujah so be blessed beloved he loves you we plead your protection according to psalm 91 and by his blood over your mind your body and your spirit rest in him this day release all things to him beloved in jesus name amen shalom